The president called for peaceful coexistence as the best hope for peace in Asia. He also warned North Vietnam that the United States will stand firm in Vietnam. I want the communist... It was crude, but we didn't know it. We, <laughs> we thought we were doing a great service. In Connecticut news, Orchard Street in New Haven was the scene of another shooting today. Moments later, police officers apprehended a suspect. The victim, wounded in the abdomen by a single shot, was identified as 23-year-old Jacqueline Wallace. She was taken by ambulance to Yale New Haven Hospital, where she remains on the danger list tonight. Detective Captain William Hollihan told Channel 8 News that the shot followed an argument. Officers have not yet recovered the gun. I was the weather person for a while, uh, certainly the news anchor for 15 years, and the morning show where I was almost but not quite a, a clown. And I enjoyed every one of them, every facet of it. Uh, we even did a, uh, an on the street, man of the street show outside the studios every night. I've done it all uh, in, in this business. As a matter of fact, uh, I did some sports. I started off as an announcer here off camera. I did some sports on camera. My first full-time job was replacing a fellow named Barry Barrents, who was pretty much of a legend in the market. Good evening, everyone. And if you ever wanted to say, look, let me find an anchorman, somebody who looked good on camera, who looked impressive on camera, authoritative looking individual, a man with a deep bassy voice uh, who could captivate an audience, that would be Barry Barrett's. The president also defended his disability agreement with Vice President Nixon. He said Nixon never was acting president during his three major illnesses, but that he would have done so if necessary. WNBC Channel 30. Before me, on the desk from where I'm speaking, is the beginning of a letter in longhand. It stops abruptly on the fifth line apparently ended by the screams of fire. Police and firemen remained. Blackened walls, black uniforms that once were white, hospital corridors in four inches of water. Tragedy. Unknown, how many injured? Dead, I know of at least 15. This is Dick O'Brien on the ninth floor at Hartford Hospital. All of Connecticut's television stations took strong editorial stances for righteous causes. But few editorialists were as respected as the world-renowned Dr. Albert Burke of Channel 6 and later Channel 30. He said he could not believe that anyone would be foolish enough to start a nuclear war over Berlin or anything else. This implied, of course, that reasonable and rational men would hesitate to loose on the world the effects of such a war. The trouble is that reasonable and rational men do not always have the final say in such matters. The stations followed their radio routes in the coverage of political campaigns and elections. All right, David and Simsbury for the presidential uh, side of the ticket. Stevenson, 948. Eisenhower, 2,809. For the United States Senate, Dodd, 1,336. Bush, 2,365. McLevy, 12. Stevenson, 21. 1,965. 